Hello everyone and welcome back to the Multi Tools and Blades channel. Today we're going to have a look at the 2018 Leatherman Wave Plus and compare that to the original 1998 Leatherman Wave. Now because this newer tool is simply just an evolution of the original tool, both tools are going to have a lot of similarities. With the exception of the phosphorus bronze washers, both tools are made entirely of 420HC steel and they both have f the same four outward opening tools. It is clear to see here that the Wave Plus now has removable wire cutters. These cutters are actually made from 154CM steel which is a lot tougher. You may have also noticed that the overall size of the Wave Plus has increased from the original. Only slightly, very marginally, but it is very noticeable. Not only is it thicker, but when compared side by side you can see it's also wider as well. And from the side you can now see the addition of the locking tab for the inside opening tools. The Wave Plus is a lot easier to open one handed. So blade size has also increased on the Wave Plus but not so much the blade thickness, they're about the same. The liner lock on both of these tools does a great job of keeping the blade in position where it should be. There is a hidden feature on the Wave Plus, a tiny little pin that's in front of the liner lock that prevents any of the outward opening blades from opening up when the ply head is extracted. It's a bit hard to see on camera, but it's a little feature that's there. If you have one, you didn't notice it before. Rather than try to explain it, maybe I should just show you in practice. So there, with the blade open, you can see that uh, you can still try to open up the pliers without any difficulty. So let's have a look at some of the other outward opening tools, such as the wood saw. So you'll see here that there's not really too much difference between the old version and the new version. The same thickness, same length, and the teeth are all in the one direction as well. So as well as the saw and the main blade, you also have a serrated blade. And just like the wood saw, the, uh, the serrated blade is very similar between the old model and the new model. One thing to notice though that on the newer model there's actually an indication on the handle whether it's serrated or not. So you can tell the difference between a serrated and a non-serrated. You can see here that it's very hard to differentiate until you actually open up the blade on the older model. So if we turn our attention to the inside tools this thing something to note that the original wave the inside tools do not lock in place they are held with a retainer spring but they do not lock in place however with the wave plus all the inside opening tools do lock so the biggest change has been the Phillips and flathead screwdriver where they've changed over from the uh, two separate tools to being in one tool that is reversible so the other tool that has changed is the scissors. The original Wave carried over the scissors from the PST2. However, it was quickly realized that those scissors were not up to scratch. So the redesigned one on the new Wave and the Wave Plus is much better. So you see here how the mechanisms differ on each of the models. Some people either like the old one or prefer the new one, uh, but pop your comment down below. Which one do you think is better? Do you like the old one better or do you like the new one? Well, that's pretty much it for this review. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below, please do so right now. Thanks for watching, guys.